Coach, you guys weathered a storm late there. What stood out to you about the way this group played? Well, I thought the guys played really hard. Obviously, dominated the first half, and then they they came at us and a couple of uh, you know coverage blown at the end. But uh, you know, we'll go to the drawing board on that. But I, I, for the most part, I like the effort of the guys. What's your mes message in a timeout late there to the group? Just trust the system. You know, guys were running around a little bit. Just to, you got you just got to trust. And then when you get the puck, you got to skate with it. I, I thought as soon as we get it, we were stopping and we're just flipping pucks. And I think, you know, when pressure hits, you, that's when you want to skate. You want to make plays, but you also want to trust the system. You made that change to put PD with Besser and Miller. What did you like about what they were able to do aside from obviously the offense? Yeah, just to you know, just to why not put it together every once in a while? I, I mean, I'm you know, we'll see how long I'll keep it together. But sometimes it's shot in the arm for the team. Before you got here. Yeah, somebody told me about it. Yeah, I don't know much about that stuff. Who, who's I, was it? Who, whose idea was it to put them together? Was it yours, or did, did the player come to you? Or? No, no players. Was, I don't know. Just, you know, chemistry. Or just uh, throwing stuff in a blender. We came up with that line. Was it that they got off to a good start? The goal was disallowed, but you guys looked dominant in the first as good as maybe you played in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I just think we were skating, we were forechecking. I, th I think a lot of our games when we were forechecking well. I think when we're disconnected, then we start backing up, and, and th I, I think that's as good as forecheck we had. And then, you know, we made some good plays, um, throwing pucks in the net. Um, yeah, no, it was good. It was good first. Were you in disbelief a little bit when you had the two bad shifts and you got to 5 4 instead of. Well, I just, I, I, I mean, this is something, you, you know, that's why it's important that, you know, practice. Or mental reps, you just got to you got to put yourself in situations. Uh, even in practice, you know you can't over back check. Uh, you have to scan the ice. If two, there's two doubles down there, there's no reason, and we have everybody covered. No reason for the forward to go down there. Just stop in the slot, scan the ice, and you have the next wave. And for whatever reason, we get a little we're hyper late and laden, and we're kind of I don't know what we're trying to over back check. That's the stuff you got to learn though, because it's, you know that's the the stuff that uh, it's going to ramp up the pressure. A teaching moment for the group to have it happen in a game situation yeah. like this though? Oh yeah, but I, you know, I like the grind. I mean, you know, what I love about it, yeah, we gave up a couple of goals, they got back in, and then we had to kill a huge penalty and we, with, with, with sort of the, the storm there. So to get the two points after killing that penalty was big. You know, it probably gives some guys some confidence. Rick, you've done a lot of self-matching with Adam over the course of the season, Hughes, Veronica with Miller, but now with Pedersen on that line, feels pretty top heavy but obviously in a good way tonight what did you like about that look well I think you know obviously the the puck possession some regroups uh, getting the puck with speed through the, the, the neutral zone um, you know when you get a guy like Huggy and, and um, Phil you, you know if you're, if you're skating you're gonna get the puck on your stick uh, we can create those odd man rushes um, you know some mismatches so uh, yeah, we'll see. See how long we keep it together. But uh, you know, I, I thought those guys had a nice job for us tonight. People look at the score sheet and think it was a gaudy, glitzy sort yeah. of performance. But with the way that they forechecked, it almost felt like they had a blue collar game. Would you? Uh, us or them? You, the, your top line in particular. Well, I think that's really important. I, I, I'm, I'm a big believer of the leadership group. Um, when you when you're playing, things are going well. To stay with it. Stay. You know, don't start getting out of your comfort zone and start making fancy plays. If we can just stay with our game plan, <clears throat> whether up 4 nothing, 5 nothing, I think it would, same thing Ottawa. You know, we, we got to just let the game, just move the game along. It's okay to, to have a neutral shift. You know, we don't have to hit a home run when you're up 3 nothing. You know, I think that's the, the next part that we're really trying to teach this group. You know, it's okay to hit some bun singles every once in a while when you're up. Uh, that doesn't mean you back off. I'm not saying to prevent, but I think that's kind of something we got to really preach. Is there a possibility, and it's just one game, yeah. and you know that team's on a three and four, or on and but is there a possibility that deploying your lineup this way could add an extra gear to what you're able to do at the top of the lineup, five on five? Well, I think that there's situational. This is going to be a situational, you know, and then um, you know there's going to be times where I'm going to need Petey to play on a different line, mm -hmm. to center. Um, you know, um, I thought actually the suitor line. I thought they had some good yeah. moments. You know, I thought they had some good moments. I thought the, the you know, I felt bad. You know, the Laffrey line and uh, Oms, I know they're minus two. A couple of, you know, blown cover. <clears throat> I wish they got the, the game claims. I thought they played well. I want to get their confidence up. So, but in the most part, those guys played good too. Do you think the first period was the best period you played so far on this road trip? Uh, yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It was a bit, that was definitely, definitely our best. Yeah. For sure. But it was, it was, it was just a, we needed a good start.
JT, a late push from the Devils. The PK comes up big and you find a way to get it done. How great does that feel? Yeah, it just feels, you know, it feels good to, uh, you know, win a road game on a big road trip. So, uh, um, you know, I liked a lot of our game today. I think we all felt pretty good about most of it. I just think that's a classic case of sitting back a little too much with the lead. And they have a ton of talent over there, so they're going to make plays. So we got to find a way to find the happy medium of, you know, staying aggressive but in our structure to where we don't give them so much time and space. So, um, so there's a lot of good things. Yeah, what stood out to you in terms of those good things? Just competitiveness. Um, you know, we competed like bastards for most of the game, and tracking was unreal, so our D could stay up and created a lot of turnovers for them and caught them on some bad changes, and you could just feel the, the tide turn at that point, and we capitalized on some looks. So, uh, you know, it's nothing pretty. They're all from hard work. Does it feel familiar playing with PD and Brock again? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, it's been a while since uh, we get a couple shifts now and, now and then together, but, I mean, none of the goals were, uh, were fancy. Like, they were all going to the net making plays. We had people driving the net to open up plays, and you get rewarded sometimes. Mentally, what's it like in a game? You're up 5-2, and you probably could have led 8-2 at that point, and you have a couple of bad minutes, and suddenly it's 5-4, and your coach calling a timeout. Like, what's the feeling like at that point? Well, I think that's a point where the leaders and the team could step up, and the guys that have had some experience to step up and calm that situation down. And, you know, the moment's not bigger than it is. We just make it bigger than it is sometimes, and um, that's a good learning moment for us because if that happens down the road here, we're really going to, you know, if we're not feeling the right thing mentally, you're going to start squeezing the hell out of your stick. So it's a good learning learning thing for us. We're, we're happy with, you know, getting a f three or four goal lead in the game. You know, that means you did a lot of good to get there normally, but, you know, we can take some, uh, you learn from, from some things in the third today.